All right, so wrapped up the install of a 70 amp Balmar alternator on Ariel's Perkins 4108. Replaced the original uh, stock 55 amp, I think is what it is, alternator. Uh, so the way this is wired up is directly to the lithium iron phosphate house bank. Um, and then from the house bank to the start bank, I have a DC to DC charger that can top up the flooded lead acid start batteries. Um, once the house batteries reach a critical threshold voltage, then it'll start charging the uh, start batteries. So four gauge cable to the batteries. The uh, alternator temperature sensor wire here pigtail that's supplied with it connected to the harness that comes with the alternator and then secured that back here ran it right up into let's see this area here to locate the voltage regulator I was looking for a good spot and didn't want to have it in the engine compartment because the engine part compartment gets so hot so decided to mount the regulator right there and there is a fuse that's accessible through there. So it would be a little bit of a challenge to get in there and program it, um, but it's not that bad. And if I needed to, I could go ahead and unmount it and bring it outside of this locker to do that. So everything wired up and working well. Got the tack online. Um, all that business is working as it should. Uh, one more thing, because I've got lithium iron phosphate batteries, installed the sterling uh, that's the bilge pump sorry uh, put it on a chime so that we can hear it run if in case it starts cycling too frequently yeah, i'll turn it off there we go uh, this is a sterling alternator protection device so because the alternator is wired directly to the lithium iron phosphate batteries should the bms decide to shut the batteries off for some reason all of this current would have nowhere to go so the sterling alternator protection device um, is supposed to clamp down on those currents and prevent damage to the alternator and to peripheral electronics. So, got that mounted in there, routed the battery cable along here, down under there, back to the locker. I'm happy.